A device called the Alternative is a non-lethal option that police are testing. The officer just snaps this device on the slide of the pistol, and when it's shot, the bullet is captured in that ball, which is partially made out of metal, and the ball goes and whacks the perp. So we decided, hey, let's make one for a shotgun and see if we can make it for under $5. Our device will be launching golf balls, and to keep costs down, we used a cardboard toilet paper tube, which the British would call a bog roll tube. For our first test, we will be using a foam rubber golf ball. Also, the lead shot from the shotgun shell has been replaced with solid wax. <laughs> it blew apart. Before we went to using a real golf ball and live factory ammunition, we wanted to do this test first to make sure that the entire concept would actually work. Man, just punch right through that. Yeah. Next, we'll use, again, the wax-filled shotgun shell, but a real golf ball this time. If the alignment isn't perfect, well, just like a golfer, he's going to slice the uh, ball. And that's what happened here. Hey, regular golf ball, shot two. Ready? Yep. Wow. Wow. Now velocity is still pretty low because we're just using those wax projectiles instead of a factory round. We're really happy with the performance of the custom Mike Dittman muzzle brake which allows the excess gases to vent out the sides. We wouldn't have done that without that muzzle brake and Darren was able to hit the target from about 30 yards away. We also tested a couple different polyurethane super balls. Hey, that one hit. Well, you yeah, hit it. <laughs> now remember, we were just using a solid wax projectile, and it still blew this very tough ball apart. Next, we'll use an even larger Super Bowl, and you can see how crudely we attach it to this muzzle brake of the shotgun. Okay, giant Super Bowl. Ready? Yep. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, oh. There it goes! <laughs> it went over Come the back. sand pile. Really, the reason we even tried the Super Balls is because so many people have wanted us to shoot bouncy balls. We've never been able to find one small enough to fit the bore of a shotgun, so we tried this instead. Next, we'll use a wax lug and a range golf ball. <laughs> it blew apart. For you non-golfers, a range golf ball is uh, a cheap golf ball used on driving ranges. It has a solid core, and the wax lug just gutted it more or less and finally a standard golf ball <laughs> now Jason was aiming a little high on this and we were all anticipating a, a pretty good drop of the ball as it flew but you can see this one flew with a very high velocity with almost no drop and once again we w never would have tried this without that custom muzzle brake on there to vent off the gases might be dangerous to try this at home, just strapping something on the end of a normal shotgun. So don't don't try that, please. But we had pretty good results, and we kept within our $5 video budget. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Four! <laughs>